So we just took our lanai and split it in half and put a screen up, which might be kind of hard to see here. And brought a little uh, stump in from outside to make the place look more alive. And the little killdeer and sanderlings get to run around in this little area. So they have lots of space here to spread their little wings and at least get themselves started flying. Now this little sanderling, we're not really sure what's going on with it. The bird was apparently entangled in fishing gear or line and it does not appear to have any injuries at this point. Its wings look pretty good, uh, but it doesn't really do much. It won't fly. It does stretch its wings every now and then, but it's not interested in doing a whole lot. So I'm thinking it might have PTSD and just needs a little bit of quiet time and maybe it'll be all right. And then these two killdeer are doing just fine. The bigger one gets bigger. Well, he, he gained four grams uh, since yesterday, and the little guy did pretty well. He gained two grams since yesterday, so he's doing a little better. I was a little worried about him, but he seems to be doing okay. And uh, hopefully they will, one of these days, fly away. So the, when I mentioned that Regis was trying to get wood for the woodpecker, um, the woodpecker has been pulling his feathers out. And so he looks quite terrible as a result of that, and that's not a good thing. So uh, there's not a whole lot we can do. He can't fly, so being, releasing him is, is not going to do any good. And keeping him is driving him nuts. So uh, Karen recommended some mental stimulation. Go get some piece of wood that might have bugs or something in it for him. Well, we just found something even better than that. He found the woodpecker, red-bellied woodpecker nest, that uh, the birds nested in two years ago when we first moved in here and there's some nice video uh, that we have of that on our YouTube channel and um, some of our blog posts but the tree did fall over this year in um, one of the many storms that come through here and so he just chopped the part off that had the woodpecker nest in it and we'll see how this little guy goes he's not going to come out from behind his log while I'm here so it is something that we can only surreptitiously try to capture on camera <laughs> Thank uh -huh.